Dinosaurs. And welcome back, guys. I have gotten the system running with the help of Armitage. 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 Yes. Um, he came by earlier this morning. This is the next day, and helped me figure out how to start crafting. So, as you can see here, you right-click this, and it'll show you crafting status. So we can tell this. Let's see if we have silicon in the system. So we do. So if we look at craftable here, the different views, store items. Craftable, you can tell it to craft. So we're going to do... Let's do three. So it'll say available three silicon. So it'll tell you how many you need. It'll tell you... And it's telling you what it's crafting. So then you click start. So then what it'll do is I'll send the items into this interface, which sends them into this chest, which gets pulled out of by this wooden pipe, and they go into the first available slot, which is right here, which is white listed for silicon. You can see the black and the black right there. Makes sense, right? Then they get set into a hopper. Before, we had these pipes directly feeding into the inscribers, and that's not going to work because the inscribers can only take one item in here. So after that, the items get filtered out this way, and... Um, will be brought back into the system. Or, um, let me just... Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, this is, the item routing is still a work in progress. For now, at least. I, I kind of wanted them to go back into this chest here, but that's not going to work with the interface. What is this cable doing? Um, you do not need to be there, Mr. Cable. But, um, yeah, we got our tree farm working really well. Actually, I'm quite surprised at um, how unorganized it makes things, but it's probably out of saplings again, maybe. No, it's still got plenty. Um, plenty of rubber, which is really good for sticky pistons. I forgot to mention that I didn't quite ex fully explain how the rest of this works. So the rest of this, all you'd have to do is whitelist the item you want to go into the second one. So say you put... What is this, logic? So say you put... Um, gold whitelist on there. So you set up the processor. I forgot to tell you guys how to make patterns too. So you need a, um, a pattern terminal here. And there are two options. This is what was messing with me. You get a crafting um, pattern. It will not come up with a print in silicon here. So it'll actually show you all the different um, items it can be. So if you put an iron ore in there. Let's see what ore we have. So let's throw in um, aluminum. So you need to tell it what it wants to be. So say, we, how did, why did it, we have one aluminum, so then you need an aluminum ingot, and you'd put that there, and then you'd be able to encode your pattern by clicking this button here. But if we do crafted pattern, that's not going to work. So, yeah, this button's important. <laughs> um, I think that's about it, really. So guys, I've ran into a problem, and that problem is that the advanced pieces, so we can make the starting pieces fine, because they don't require anything besides their starting pieces, so like this one requires a diamond, this one requires gold. These require three pieces. Two of those pieces, every single processor requires, and there's three different types. So the problem is that even with item filters, the, the first item that the first area that silicon can go is right here, and it will always go right there. And there's no way that we can tell it to craft and emit a red sun signal at the same time. So I ended up deciding, after using the Ender IO and item conduits to figure stuff out, we're still going to need those. Actually, I think we may be able to get away with. Um, see, there's a problem here too, and that is that this wooden pipe will just pull everything out so we may have to you know actually we'll just have to link these interfaces up they don't even have to be here so um now the way interfaces work now is a bit different if you want them to be able to craft something so if you want to put a, be able to put a recipe in and tell them to craft um you have to have these cpus here so this is a 1K crafting storage, you can, and the storage is pretty much the RAM. So this can do one crafting operation at a time. You can't tell it to do two, or otherwise it'll say no. Um, this is the co-processing unit, and this is what allows, this is the, the CPU essentially. So just make those and hook them up to your network. 
the thing we need now is some more ME cabling and we're going to put the interface on the edge of these hoppers here and we are going to wrench all this item conduit off because we do not need it. Another thing I noticed was that actually we are going to need some of this item conduit. Um, we're going to have to get rid of these hoppers as well. I th think there is a... they made it complicated. So I can't just tell this, oh, here's three things. So for example, let's um, go ahead and make a logic processor. So if we look for logic. Oh, forgot to, yeah, it's not just one button anymore, there's two. Go to logic, click it, next, start. So it'll, it said available, and then it said that. So then that sent the gold through here, it'll go into the second one, because this pipe is whitelisted and that will put it right here into this. It's, the pipes are very slow. I do want to um, update these with Ender IO Item Conduits, but they require these. So I've just been killing a ton of skeletons. Um, skeletons, and we have 13 skulls left. Just mobs in general, but skeletons are easier for me. Um, for some reason, the zombies always spawn with like super armor. Skeletons are easy. So, yeah, the item hoppers are this this works for the starting. At least it doesn't work as fast as I want it to, so I'm going to upgrade it with the um, advanced things. Right now we have three item filters in total. We can make more, but we're out of paper. Um, the thing's about modded, right? So we are going to need to hook up some things to this. So we need the cable. We're going to need to tell the interfaces to send it different directions. So normally, and here's the problem too, because the interface can only send into one side. It'll be like, oh, I'm going to put this and this thing. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put these out a bit, so I'm telling them to put the items in a chest, then connect item conduits, these things, to the um, chest itself and say, okay, you can go to the bottom, you can go to the top. This is why I chose Ender IO, because you can put power and... I said you can put power and you gotta click the block. Um, as you can see there, you can put two things in one spot, um, which is very, very, very useful. No other mod allows you to do that. And of course, there's the disappearing wrench thing. Uh, if you scroll wheel, you can change that. So we're gonna need to plop one of these down on every one, which is what I just removed. And then we're going to need to right click the like the base there we go so you gotta like right click the corner so we want it to insert we're gonna put this in and we are going to t as you can see this was already previously encoded um, this was so we're gonna we'll make this one the engineering so the top needs to be that this right here this item conduit we will tell that to insert put a filter and then we'll tell it this was just stuff I was experimenting we'll tell that one to put in the redstone because that'll insert it from the side uh, tree farm is doing wonderfully which is nice um, so that'll insert redstone into the hopper which will put it into the side here so it'll save us some item conduit which is relatively it's actually cheaper than a hopper in terms of resources um, I'll explain that a bit later, and then we'll put another one here. This will also do redstone. Now here's a problem. Can we stop these guys from linking together? Yes. Cool. Um, that was solved quite simply. So what we're going to end up doing... Cool, that is actually a lot... That is nice, I enjoy that. So we're going to tell it to insert, put another thing in here, we're going to have to make more of these. Insert, and we'll put another one in there. Um, Dolan put a magnum torch in spawn. So over there does not spawn the mobs, but over here does. Um, this was just the start of something I was thinking of, I might not. Um, I don't want to build underground this season. Um, so I might, I might build above ground or I don't know really yet. Right now I just have this area. I'm not sh quite sure of what I want to build. Um, mainly because I don't have a quarry yet. Now the regular quarry has been disabled. 
So if we type in quarry, we can't we can't craft it. We can craft an ender quarry, but that doesn't give you building materials. So the only way we can go is with progressive automation. There's a mining uh, thing of a bob that takes a lot of crafting, and it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to make another ME interface, link the cable over here, and get this stuff all up and dandy, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've got everything done. Let's test this by crafting a logic processor. Oh, boy. Are you guys ready for this? Logic. Craft. Next. Start. Oh, boy. So first it should send the gold. The gold will go into the second one, come out of the pipe here, go back into the system, and then to be sent out again. It should also have sent this. Oh, so it's doing gold first. So then after that, it... it Oh, either Sunday silicon chip. I think I already had one made. Um, there is the animation there, and it sends it out here. I definitely want to replace this pipe with um, Ender IO item conduits, um, but those are adequate for now, just for testing reasons. Um, yeah, this whole build craft system could possibly just be removed really simply. Um, sorry, Dolan. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, so that'll send it into the chest. This has to be a chest here because the export bus does not link up to a pipe. So now it will send out... Um, what is it doing? Storage, which should send all of these. Oh, it's sending them into here. Oh, cool, cool. Um, what happened? Is it done? Did I miss it? No, I would have sent it out the... Did I miss it when I was opening up the chip? No, there's no way it's... Uh, it's not... No, it's not a... Is there... What happened? Is it stuck in the Ender I.O. conduit? I don't understand. It should have been inserted into the inscriber. Patterns, encoded pattern, it should, uh, should do a thing. Why is it not doing a thing? Because it should put redstone into the hopper. It should put silicone down in the bottom. As you can see. Why is this not doing a thing? This should be doing a thing. Why is it not? I didn't see it do a thing. And it, it hasn't, because it didn't craft it. The logic. Yeah, it's still not... Huh. Maybe... No, because it can read it. Let's try... Did it get... It couldn't have gotten sucked into here. So it would have made that, it would have gotten sucked back into the system, and it should have gone back out again. Because it did say it had all the materials, silicon, um, logic. So it has the one. Um, it has one. It made that, but it, for some reason it didn't send it out. So I think cable. Let's just get the two cable. Uh, four. I guess we have four cable. And let's see if this will fix it in the morning because I really don't want creepers kind of showing up here because that would be not good at all because um, this stuff is really really expensive so let's try it again logic craft next so it says we have available 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 so those are all available start so that should put it into the subscriber Don't, does it need a, a thing here? Let me replace these with chests and I'll be right back. All right, three chests are put into the system. Okay, so it did put the things in. It's just not extracting them. Okay. Um, that, now why isn't it pulling them through the Okay, so I just need to tell it to extract. Not hard. I, I have an extra filter here. Let's tell it to extract this and the redstone. 
Um, active without signal. Cool. So it should have put the redstone in here, and cool. So that worked. Now all we had to do is tell the thing on the bottom um, to do that. So that's a l more filters than I think I have, actually. I can make some more. And we're going to tell this one to take the silicon ship, which we do not have. Uh, let's just grab it from the system. It's funny how that it's all green right now, because before it was like red and whatnot. Because as I pull items out, it changes. Um, okay, so you need to be told to extract the silicon and active without signal. You guys should be fine, and it should have made it by now. Yep, there we go. Cool. So um, that's how we fix it. So I'm going to go through. Um, luckily, I have the parts for the rest of these, except for the diamond part, which is fine. Now let's just go through together and put these in. So first things first, we need to tell this to pull out redstone. We're going to need four more um, filters. And I've had a oh, cool. I fit right because I relogged. Um, sometimes any eye will be all weird and stuff. Let's just get one more. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna need more stupid paper. Uh, did I mention that I, I hate getting paper? Um, okay. I'll just chop down a few trees, because rubber trees can't be used to make the, um, sawdust, which is used to make paper. So that's unfortunate. Let's just uh, see here, diamond one, so that's the engineering processor. We need to tell that one to take out the redstone and the engineering chip thing. Um, this part we can do fine, engineering chip, bam, next, start. Cool. So I'll be back after that makes and I'll get the rest of the filters in because it's just going to take too long. And. Everything is set up, so now I can finally automate the process. Hey, tree, um, we can automate the processing creation doohickeys. So let's do this. So let's tell it to make an engineering processor. Okay, we already have one. Switch it to craftable and craft one. Now, start um, automatic just lets it use the, I think it's either the closest or the most powerful CPU. Um, but you can actually pick which CPUs it uses, so if you have one that's busy, you can pick another one. Which is neat. And look at that! Yeah! Genius, I did it! Woohoo! Um, the only thing is, if I replace these with Ender IO Conduit, it's going to require more of these, and I'm pretty sure I am out of player's holds. Skull. Switch it back to... Stored items. Yes, I have I have zero skeleton skulls left. So we are going to have to do. A th oh, I also um I set up the thing over here the uh, automatic mob grindy bit system. And what's cool about this is I can power it with the things it produces rotten flesh. So if I put if I put zombies in here right now, it's doing Enderman. Somehow it shouldn't. Have, is it still running? That's crazy. I haven't put mob essence in this at all. <laughs> like I put. I put one bucket. It shouldn't. I guess it's producing more than. Cool. And the and the energy is still doing its thing. I mean, that's awesome. That is, we are producing infinite mob. The only thing is, some of these guys are teleporting, which is kind of strange. I guess they can see me through the glass or something. But um, Grinder should take care of them. I don't know where they're teleporting to, but it's nothing like too crazy. Um. So they just die, and uh, let's actually check the output chest. We didn't check that, just to see if it was just either unloaded or um, it's producing. So it's not producing while we're out there, but it is still um, doing its thing. So it's cool. That is very cool. Um, that that is my first step to getting resources, because Ender pearls are it, uh, mods are ender pearl heavy, and by mods I mean ender io and the item conduits. That's what I, pretty much what I needed them for, and then some of the vi more vibrant crystals because I use my ender pearls on the upgrades for the spin machine and that machine. Do not take these out after you put them in its charge because it will waste nine hundred thousand RF. It'll just replace it back to a hundred thousand, and then you put it back in. It's like a I never had that, so then it will never. Yeah, it's a waste, huge, huge waste of energy. Um, 
so that's the thing. This thing still has like a, okay, so it has it's, it has lost 10 million RF. Um, just, what is wasting all the energy now? I know it was less, but it shouldn't. Is it all the inscribers? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'll have to check that out. I might have to throw something on here. I don't know if there's a way to stop power transmission to these inscribers unless I use more ME cable and then put like a dense or dark cable in between. Um, dark cable is ME cable with some other stuff on it that can, let's look it up, uh, dark cable. Oh, it's doing the thing! Or I can't search. Not even, I can't even do the mod thing. Watch, ready? Nothing. So, um, that's a bug. That is indeed a bug. It is not a fun bug either. Like, some fun bugs allow you to make cobblestone stairs in the quartz, which, uh, if, I'll show you that real quick. You can actually do it, but it's as you can. Uh, let's get you out of the way. So if you look here and we click on how to make quartz, so our, um, I swear it was, it was, a. Uh, yeah, cobblestone stairs, of course. Uh, that recipe doesn't work though, I tried. I have stairs in here. Stairs. As you can see there, stairs. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. It might have been a little long one. Uh, I do apologize for that, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to make the system... I have the emerald block. So. Emerald, I have four. Good, just what? make the uh, emerald uh, pipes in real quick. Because those are... Stupid Windows Movie Maker, I was editing... Um, while making this video, I was like, playing the clip from earlier in this video. I was like, what? How is Dolan here? What? <laughs> but, um, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to just transfer all this to uh, Ender IO conduit and whatnot. I shouldn't have to tell it what it needs to export. Actually, I will. Oh, uh, that's going to be a pain because I don't have any more skulls. I'm going to um, test stuff in between episodes, find another item doohickey. I might just stick with these for now, at least until I move it somewhere more proper, which is going to be a very large pain. I, I kind of just want to leave it here. But, um, yeah. See you guys next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, stay classy.